All right, let's go ahead and get started to create this fun uh, car game. Uh, so to get started, first we'll go to Unity3D.com. Once you go there, you will have to create a Unity ID by clicking on uh, this guy over here. Create Unity ID, and then uh, follow the steps to create the Unity ID. Set the terms, or you can log in by signing in with Google or Facebook. I already have it, have one created. Uh, what this allows you to do allows you to download the Unity 3D software, and also it allows you to purchase the purchase assets, and also uh, you'll be able to uh, use the assets that you see in the game. Well, the assets that would be using from the asset store. Okay, so go to products first. Well, after you sign up, go to products and click on personal. Uh, you're going to click on personal just so you guys can try it to see how, how it is. Okay, click on personal. Then from personal, you scroll lay down. And then go ahead and click on try personal. And then um, click on accept two terms, agree to the terms. And then click download install for Windows. If you have Mac, it will ask you to download installer for Mac. All right. That's going to go ahead and open up the installer. Okay. Click next. Set the terms to license. Click next. I will leave all these checked. Then it will, after that, you click next. I already have it already installed. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this, this video. And then I'll see you uh, when you open up Unity. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Unity if you haven't have it open up already. And then once you have it open, uh, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, if you don't have no projects, it might be asking you to uh, create a new project. Or uh, let me go ahead, click New, and then I'm gonna call this car gang and click create project it's going to create it all right projects is created and so to uh, to follow along, go all the way up to the right, click layout, click default, and go ahead and click default view. And then what I would like you guys to do is from the default view, uh, let's go ahead and drag the game down here. Clicking on that game tab and drag it down below. All right, and then get this project, drag it over here. All right, and this will allow us to uh, work with the scene and also also in the game, so you can see everything that's going on. Okay, so we're just going to set this up, and also um, I'd like you to go to File. Then from uh, File, let me see here. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to be uh, Edit. Go to Edit, Preferences, and uh, click on External Tools. So external Tools. Make sure model develop built-ins is checked. If you have Visual Studios and you're familiar with Visual Studios, you can uh, check Visual Studios. But uh, just to follow along, we'll be using model develop. And just make sure that is selected. Then go ahead and click the uh, X. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, get the uh, assets to uh, install. Okay, so, so now since we got uh, Unity all set up, we're going to go ahead and download the uh, assets. Uh, we're going to download uh, this Racing Cars Pack 1. 
I posted the link in the description below that will take you straight to there. Or you can just go to uh, the uh, asset store and just type in Racing Cars Pack 1. Uh, once uh, you have that, uh, once you have that up, you just go and click on, it's going to give you a uh, download. If, download. Then once you click on download, then it's going to ask you to open in Unity. I'm going to click on open it in Unity to open it in Unity. And then I'm going to click on, it will, should give you something that says download. I already have it downloaded, so mine is going to be import. But once you have it downloaded, just click on download, let it download, and then uh, then this will pop up. Once this pops up, you just click on import. And then that will import all the uh, assets into uh, this, this folder. All right. Now, once that is imported, we're going to go to prefabs. Prefabs are models that's already done and if you like uh, just choose whatever car you want to use uh, for this but before we do I'd like you to go all the way over here click on create create empty for the, in this create empty and right click it click on rename and we're going to call it car all right. Once that is is done, then go over here. Select any car you want. All right. I'm gonna just select. Let's see here. I'm gonna select this one right here, the GTR. I'm gonna drop it like so into the scene. All right. And um, I'm gonna reset the. Uh, transforms by clicking this settings then click reset then I am going to drag the car under car the car 8 under car all right then uh, then we have that done all right and and just before moving on uh, let's just save this scene as well uh, to do that, let's go ahead, select the assets right here, right click it, create, and then go to folder. Then from there, type in scene. All right. Now, once you type in scene, double click it, and then from there, go to file, save scenes, double click the scene folder, and this, we're going to type this game all right and that scene has been saved all right and then uh, and the next what we're going to do is we're going to set up the car okay to set this car up we're going to highlight the car game object then from there we're going to go over to add component want to add component X is out to clear it out add component go to physics and then we're going to add a box collider all right and this is going to add a box collider so let's set this up so let's see here I'm going to click on the Z click on the X and then from here we get this size Let's see here and then probably make this five and then from the Z right here, see here, go here, you can see it. I'm gonna probably make this 
seven. Seven four to Z. Alright. And then for the Y. I'll make it two for the Y. Alright. Okay. Now to adjust this. Also another way to adjust this, click on edit edit collider. And then using the mouse wheel to zoom in with the mouse wheel. And you'll see these dots here. So let's see here. I'm going to use this dot to move it up a little bit. And then use this dot to move this right there. And then I'm going to click the X. Rotate this. Try to find the other dot. Probably drop the drop the X down a little bit. Probably four. Four. Four forty X. And let's see here. Probably go up top. It's over a little bit. Let's see here. All right. Just check to see if it's if if it's the box is all over the uh, car, all right. If you choose a different car, then then all you have to do is just just uh just edit the handles, just these right here, these little little dots, all right. And once that's done, we're gonna add another box, probably just in case. Let me uh, drop the Y down. So go right here to drop it. You can drop the raise the Y down. Drop down a little bit, bam. Okay, that looks good. All right. So uh, next is we're going to add a character controller. So we go to physics, character controller. All right. And then once once that is done, next thing what what we're going to do is is uh we're going to to add a script to it. So we do this. We go to assets, click folder, create new folder, and we're gonna call this script. Keep it organized. All right, and then double click script, and we're gonna go ahead create C sharp script. And from C sharp script, we're gonna call this car. All right. Then once you call this car, we're going to double click this, double click the car, and it's going to open up Model Develop. If you have Visual Studios, it's going to open up Visual Studios. All right. So what we need to do is we need to allow the car to move, and this script is going to allow us to do that. All right. So so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create couple of variables and if you want to learn more about variables I posted a uh, a link to a couple books that can teach you more about uh, variables now go more in depth this is just mostly just this just like a crash course on getting you know familiar with Unity basically all right so we're gonna, we're gonna create a private Variable for character controller. All right. Sometimes it will auto complete and you just select it. Character controller. Next, we're going to create a private vector three. So select private vector three. Gonna call this car move. All right, and then we want to create a public float called speed. 
All right. Then once that is done, uh, we're going to uh, set up the controller into the start. So go to start, and then type in. We're going to put this controller here. So type in controller. All right, and then equals get component get component character controller all right open parentheses close parentheses semicolon all right and what's that is doing is is basically uh, calling the character controller that we just set up all right uh, and then next next uh, in the uh, start uh, we are going to do car move sorry we're going to do car move and the update so car move equals vector three dot zero all right one semicolon for two and then car move again dot x equals input dot get axis raw so look for get axis raw and then from there, inside the parentheses, you're going to do open parentheses, close parentheses, with open, with quotes, inside of quotes, going to type in horizontal, horizontal times speed. End it with the uh, semicolon and car move. dot z equals speed all right and then go ahead and do controller dot move open and close parentheses car move times time dot delta time close parentheses and then once that's done click save and control s or you just go over here and click save it was already saved it so that's why it's grayed out and once that's click save minimize this select the car drag the car script over here or you can go ahead and go to add component type in car and then there's, there's the script right there and add it all right so adjust the speed to 10 to 15 all right now with with this we're going to see if it will move so to move the horizontal is using the arrow key uh, left and left arrow key right arrow key and it's going to be moving forward so you don't have to worry about up and down okay now so if you hit play the car should you should see the car should drive off in the distance so click play up here driving off into the endless sunset all right so I'm gonna stop it and just to show that it's moving left to right uh, let's drop this down to 10 10 or 5 I'll see 5 just to, just to show that it's moving so we're gonna do the left and right so let's see here let's pray again
I was moving left and right. All right. All right. And then stop play. And then we're going to go ahead and save this scene. File, then click Save Scene. And then in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to create the track and obstacles. All right. Also, if you want to learn more, uh, click on the link. Uh, the links, the Amazon links below, the Amazon affiliate links below, and it will take you to some some good books that will teach you more about uh, game development in the community. All right.